Our top story is six. The state stalls on taking action against schools that are defying the law. Several Tulsa County districts have voted not to comply with House Bill 3393, a law that requires public schools to provide tuition so special needs students can attend private school. News on 6 reporter Chris Wright has the latest on this developing story for us. Chris? Well, Terry, State Superintendent Sandy Garrett not exactly happy with the district's decision, but this conflict will remain in legal limbo for now. Let the, record reflect. the State Board of Education decided to bide its time responding to the district's defiance of House Bill 3393. Board members voted to talk with the Attorney General's office more before taking any action. The lawmaker who wrote the controversial bill says the whole conflict is unprecedented. There's no penalty in the, the legislation that was passed uh, for school boards that would do this because nobody's done it before. 3393 requires schools to use public funding to send special needs students to private school. Jenks, Union, Bixby, and Owasso have voted not to comply at all. Tulsa has decided to pay the scholarships of six students who have already enrolled in other schools. But that's it. All have argued, though, that 3393 is unconstitutional. But its author says that's not a school's decision to make. What's ironic about it is that they're concerned about the bill violating the Constitution, when in fact that's exactly what they're doing by their actions. Several parents of special needs students made the trip from Tulsa Thursday. They say the looming legal battle is unfortunate. It's sad that the system has to go through all of these mechanics to arrive at the place that we would have been at anyway. Very strange. And as the conflict continues, and if the case eventually enters into the courts, they promise to be there every step of the way. There, there are a lot of unheard from voices yet in this fight, but it's only beginning. Representative Nelson says of all the actions taken by our local district, TPS is actually the most, he says, the most flagrant violation of law. They felt they were making a compromise, but he says paying for six scholarships while refusing to honor any others is blatant discrimination. Chris Wright, 